Easy Team, Tuesday, um, just after the live. Uh, I watched it back. Um, it's all a bit fucking awkward, isn't it? It gets the heart pumping, doesn't it, the old live. You don't really know what to fucking say. Um, not that I know what to say anyway, but it's a, it's a bit, you're under fucking pressure. Um, so anyway, I had a, had a little laugh and whatever, it was all good. Anyway, there was one question there about my biggest fish. Um, and I suppose if I weren't under pressure, I would have fucking told it a bit, in a bit deeper manner. Um, so I'm going to tell you the story now. Um, you might like it, you might not. You might think, fucking, who gives a shit? Which is all, which is all well and good. So anyway, my story, because it is a little story, everything sort of come together for me um, in a matter of sort of like, I don't know what the fucking word is. Coincidences, I suppose. Um, yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's like a little fucking path I fucking... I trumbled across and, and, and until my little fucking story. Um, so anyway, so I was fishing this little lake um, about five years ago, whatever it was. Um, I had it to myself, which was fucking really handy. Um, I was piling in the fucking bait and then dribbling back on it and fishing fuck all over it, basically, and picking off sort of fish. I had a really good summer, um, caught loads of fish, pile it in there, fucking go back on it, nothing, handful pile it in, repeat, and have loads of fish, um, lucky enough to catch loads of big ones, um, and had a really good fucking summer. So anyway, um, the governor, he comes up to me one day, he was chatting as you do, and he went, do you want to do the BCAC? And I was like, what's that? And he, was, and he told me what it was, and I was like, yeah, sounds like a fucking crack, doesn't it? Um, gets me fucking 48 hours out, doesn't it? Fucking hell. 40 hours out fishing, at least. So yeah, I went for that. Um, we'll see what that's all about. Um, so I was supposed to be went and done it or whatever, and he said, right, you're fishing here. There's a little Willow Lake in St Albans. Um, I, think I've, I think I've been there. It's in a little shallow pool. Anyway, it's a really fucking dry year. Um, and the old fucking lake was seeded, didn't it? And they couldn't hold the BCAC on there. So they moved it about fucking six weeks to go or whatever um, to Walthamstow. And I was like, ah, where's that then? Where are we going? Um, obviously, I knew where Walthamstow is and, and heard of the reservoirs and, and whatever. But um, I've never been to Walthamstow before. Um, so, anyway, that was all good. So, I turned up at fucking Walthamstow, didn't we? At fucking whatever it is, nine o'clock, eight o'clock, or whatever. Goes for a walk round. Fucking. Well, where have you been hiding this then? In the middle of London. It's like a fucking paradise. Um, I fell in fucking love with it. It's like, this, this is fucking banging, this place, isn't it? Fucking hell. It's only like fucking 50 minutes down the road. Um, had a bit of an inquiry and it's a bit like a fucking rat race at the fucking start, isn't it? Um, they're all on their fucking, on their fucking, whatever they are. Um, the gun goes and they're fucking running, so I was like, nah, fuck that. Um, but yeah, BCAC, you get to fish it obviously overnight. Um, and no running. Yeah, that was really good. Um, so we went for a walk round. Um, you have a little scope, didn't you, the night before, like with me mate, um, on Google Earth, isn't it? And um, yeah, decided it wanted to be round there because the wind was fucking hooly in 50. Um, it's April, fucking bitterly cold. And was like, yeah, I want to be around there somewhere. Um, for me, if anything else. Um, so yeah, if I want to be there, perhaps the cart might be there. I don't know. So anyway, so we went for a walk round. Um, chose sort of our area wanted to be, um, and then it was draw time, wasn't it? And uh, sort of standing there, fucking open one first. The first one goes, didn't it? Fucking second, didn't it? Third, take third. And then they go, and you're like, so then you're fucking, your arse starts going, doesn't it? You're like, fucking hell. I think seventh we come out, and it's like, oh. but, but luckily, where I wanted to be was fucking still free. And I was like, fucking happy fucking days. Um, obviously, they know something I fucking don't, don't they? Um, so anyway, we chose the swim we wanted to be in, uh, drove round there, and yeah, that's why they didn't want to be in it. It was a bit of a fucking ball lake, little tiny fucking platform, slide, like a, a mud slide down to it, and yet the fucking, I had to get the fucking mallet out, I did, I was a fucking mallet fucking slammer that day, and it's the first time I've ever fucking smacked a bivy peg in, um, with a hammer, it weren't no mallet, um, you had the fucking bivy up on the road, which was like fucking rock hard, um, you know what I mean, the green giant's fucking boot ain't getting that fucking peg in, so you had to wield the fucking hammer, um, which I'm not that proud about, to be fair. Um, but anyway, I got over that moment. Um, we set up, da la la. Um, the first bell went. Um, they sort of like marker out and what have you. Um, so I got my little marker out and fucking threw it out. Um, and it just went, Pfft. I was like, what the fuck? 
and it's like just pulled it out of about three foot of fucking silt. I was like, oh, that ain't too good. Pops it up and it's like three foot deep, and I was like, fucking hell, this is gonna be a bit of a long weekend, isn't it? Fucking hell. Um, yeah, fucking just that fucking winter, and I'm fishing two and a half, three foot. Um, so yeah, I thought, oof. So we flicked it out a bit more, sort of had a little bit of a persevere. Um, flicked it to the right of that old big old tree sort of in front of you. It's not that far. It's awkward though because it's fucking blowing a holy uh, to the right. Um, so I flicked one out and it, it just sort of kissed the tree jammily. Um, I felt it down. It's like, oh, that felt a bit deeper. Um, popped the old float up and it was it's about six foot or whatever. Um, and then sort of pulled it back and it sort of back into the seal. So it's a little fucking area. Obviously fucking the bit in here, innit? So I was like, well, there you go. Um, it's the only sort of difference in my fucking swim. It's pretty much dictating where I'm going to put the rods, innit? So I've got my rods out and fucking, because you're allowed to fucking flick them out and get them all clipped up. Um, so I've done that, got them all clipped up. Um, about half an hour, something like that. Put the rods on the rest. It's like, ah, wicked. Fucking feet, feet on the old fucking bed chair, innit? There you go, we'll sit like that till the fucking second bell. Um, so yeah, put the feet up for about half an hour. Um, loads of fucking spawning and shit going on down there. Um, so, ah, fucking hell, obviously no saying I don't. Um, so anyway, the second bell went. Um, flung, flung me two fucking rods out over there. They went out all right. Um, picked up my throwing stick I did. Yeah, we'll get some bait over there. Whoosh, fucking hit that wind, mate. It's landed in fucking matey boys fucking swimming it. Ooh. It's fucking going everywhere it is, but I fucking persevered and managed to land about a dozen on the spot. And probably another dozen fucking anywhere. Um, I thought fucking I better leave that until it fucking calms down before I fucking ruin my chances. So I left him fishing, my mate sorted his rods and was sitting there fucking having a chat like, yeah, fucking hell. Bit windy here, innit? Fucking hell. And um, two swans come round. Missed my mates. Missed Kev's. Straight over Kev's rods. And just carnage fucking mine. And I was like, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, lads. Cheers for that. And I just swam off. Both rods fucking sagging what they were. It's like fucking hell. Um, so they had marked up them anyway. So pulled them back in. Well, I didn't actually. I thought, fucking you know what? I'm going to put a fucking crafty. So I fucking clipped it. Um, pushed about six foot off, clipped it back up. I'm going to be fucking daring now, aren't I? Fucking this is going to be a shot. Um, so anyway, fucking it's fucking hoolian. I wanged it out. Fucking about 30 degrees left or something. He fucking bent round there like fucking Beckham. Hit the fucking clip and just went... Bruh, and just fucking down it went. It was like fucking... Did I just do that? Um, fucking perfect. I was well happy with that one. Picked up the second one. See, I like the second one. Because when you throw it at the fucking first one, there's nothing in the way. Um, it's the third one that's the shitter, isn't it? Anyway, threw the fucking second one out. It landed about a metre from it. Um... I added some more on that one as well. So I had two rigs over there, about a metre, well, I looked a metre apart, probably a rod length in it from where I stood, but no, about a metre apart, I'd like to think. Um, so anyway, um, sorted them all out, didn't bother putting any bait out there because I'd spreaded it about fucking earlier, so I thought, well, I'd better leave that. Um, put my feet up again, my mate come out, I went over to my mate's bivvy, went over to Kev's bivvy. Um, he put the kettle on, and was just sitting there waiting for the old kettle to boil, and it just started to bubble. And I fucking up and down it, just went doodle. Oh yeah. It just doo -doo 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 -doo. And I was like, we've got one on here, mate. Fell for the oldest fucking trick in the book, hadn't he? So I fucking went over there, grabbed the rod, pulled it into a fish, and it, you know, it's a bit of fucking stretching it, I don't even fucking know what it was. I thought, yeah, it's probably a 20, I suppose. And so a bit sort of blarly are. Ah. Um, it's a sort of snag to my right. Um, I didn't really fancy fishing it for some reason. Um, it was a bit of a treacherous one. I was like, I ain't gonna know any of that one. I didn't know how much was in the water. Um, so anyway, it fucking kited right to this fucking snag, and I was like, fucking hell. Fucking pulled it out of the snag, and as I pulled it out of the snag, his fucking mouth come out, and I just see the fucking shoulder, and I sort of looked at Kevin and was like, that ain't fucking 20 pound, that fucker, is it? And as it sort of got fucking closer, it got bigger, churning up the fucking silt, and I was like, that's a fucking good 30, that one. That's a good fucking fish to start with. That's like two fish in it, a 30, sort of thing, innit? Um, um, so anyway, la 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 la, fucking whipped it in the net and fucking hell. It was like that. That's the fucking biggest thing I've ever fucking seen, that is. That's a fucking big one, that. And I'd seen like a few big fish, like. And I was like, that must be the fucking biggest fucker in here. Jesting the fucking cave, like. Anyway, to cut a long story short, 
they sent this little young lad round, and I was like, yeah, you might want to get someone bigger. Might have the lake's fucking prize possession in here, you know what I mean? And so, you know, some other boy come round, they slammed it on the scales, it whipped round to 45.7, it's the big mirror. Um, broke the record at the time and a few other records, I was like, yeah, this is fucking good, isn't it? Fucking easy peasy, this is. Fucking just slammed two singles over there, like I've always done, and fucking, yeah. Fucking jammy as fuck that, isn't it? Um, so anyway, um, they're all fucking jumping about, fucking yeah, fucking that, and I'm pretty fucking reserved, and I, fucking yeah, that's fucking good that is, um, yeah, pucker, um, yeah, I need to get this fucking rod out, really, so fuck off, um, or whatever, anyway, they, they went, oh, that's only kidding, and they went, um, anyway, so, the other rod was, was untouched, and I thought, well, fucking hell, you know what I mean, I didn't really disturb the swim, he just sort of like shook his head, and sort of fucked off, so I was quite confident there's fish still there. So I thought, oh fuck it, I'll just leave that fishing. I'll do the other one when it get bored, innit? And so I left the other one fishing, didn't bother putting any more bait out. So sort of, that'll do. Don't want to disturb the swim, innit? Um, so we left it there. Um, about an hour later, had another fucking run. And to cut a long story short, that one coming, it's a lovely fucking 27 common or something. I was like, fucking, this is, this is the fucking bollocks, this place, innit? Fucking hell, coming here again. Fucking hell, I've been missing out, haven't I? Fucking hell. Um, so anyway, um, the comp went on, I had another couple of fucking runs and a couple of fish from that spot, my mate had one and it got off and it was like fucking hell. Um, anyway, to cut a long story short, we'd, we'd done enough to qualify, um, finished on a hundred and whatever pound it was or whatever, I'm going to have to start speaking like this, because my throat's going fucking dry. Um, so yeah, we're going to speak like this for the rest of the blog, okay? Um, so yeah, so where was I? I can't fucking remember. Um, so yeah, we managed to qualify, that was all good. Um, kicked a couple of the bigger boys out. Yeah, see you later, lads. Uh, or won't. Yeah, yeah, we won't see ya. Um, so anyway, so there's a thing on, on um, the qualifying, is if you catch the biggest fish, you get to go home. Um, you just automatically qualify. The biggest fish of the qualifiers get put into the semi. Um, so yeah, so I had the fish and could have went home, but we thought, no, we don't want to go home, do we? We want to we stay here fishing. So we stayed and didn't want to be the bloke that fucking caught the fucking big one and jammed it, did I? Um, so no, we stayed. Um, perhaps I should have said that first, but anyway, you get the idea. So anyway, I ended up qualifying, um, which was really lucky, to be fair. You know what I mean? I thought I'd have some fish, but to fucking, you don't pick what they come out there. So that was a really good fucking time. Really good little carpy story for me. Um, and then been blanking my arse off ever since. Um, anyway, so there's that. There's my carpy story. That says 12 fucking minutes and 50 fucking five seconds. Holy fucking shit. Anyway, there's me. I hope you fucking liked my little carpy fucking story. Um, I've got a few of them. I uh, might not post them. I might not even post this one because it might seem a bit Charlie-ish, innit? Anyway, there's me. I'm going to fucking crack it off. Um, enjoy your fishing. See you soon.